What is it about forbidden places that has left us all intrigued? Is it the thrill of the unknown? or the sense of danger lurking around every corner. You've got this incredible evil look. As a matter of fact, they'll look at me and they'll say, you stupid first. Whether it's the unnatural silence of abandoned cities or the ferocity of dangerous wildlife, the forbidden places of our world are shrouded in mystery and wonder. In today's video, we'll take you on a journey to explore the top 15 forbidden places that you're not allowed to visit. Number 15. North Brother Island, USA Located in New York City, North Brother Island is one of the most famous forbidden places in the United States. Long time ago, this island served as the site of Riverside Hospital, a place where those afflicted with quarantinable diseases were kept away from the public. Amongst the many patients who crossed its shores, there was one who stood out from the rest, Mary Mallon, also known as Typhoid Mary. Mary Mallon was a courageous immigrant from Ireland who came to New York City in 1883 working as a cook for affluent families. However, wherever Mary went, trouble seemed to follow. Family members fell ill with a dreadful disease known as typhoid fever after she joined their households. The health department soon uncovered a troubling pattern, connecting several cases back to Mary's culinary expertise. Although she adamantly denied playing any role in the spreading of the disease, it was later discovered that she had inadvertently infected at least 53 people, leading to the untimely deaths of three individuals. Mary, convinced of her own innocence, fought against the accusations that plagued her. But the evidence stacked against her was overwhelming. Finally, she was apprehended and whisked away to Riverside Hospital, where an astonishing revelation awaited. It was determined that Mary was the first documented healthy carrier of typhoid fever. She confessed to rarely washing her hands, believing that the high temperatures involved in cooking would rid her food of any harmful bacteria. As the press caught wind of her tale, Mary Mallon became the face of the typhoid disease, a living symbol of its devastation. Locked away from the world, she spent over two decades on North Brother Island, persistently maintaining her innocence until the end. Unfortunately, her life came to an end due to a stroke caused by pneumonia, inside the confines of this very island. In the years that followed, North Brother Island transformed into a rehabilitation center for drug addicts, aiming to provide hope and healing for such patients. But corruption seeped into the institution, and patients returned to their old ways, resulting in its closure in 1964. Since then, the island has been abandoned, and its deserted buildings reflect a reminder of its past. Now it serves as a sanctuary for birds, a peaceful refuge amidst the chaos of the city. However, whispers of change are floating in the air. Proposals to reopen North Brother Island to the public have emerged, sparking debates about its future. Meanwhile, it remains to be seen if there is going to be a turnaround. Number 14. Lascaux Caves, France the mystery behind the Lascaux Caves falls back to September 1940 when an 18-year-old boy went on a tour alongside his dog near the Montignac town. Out of the blue, his furry companion tumbled into a mysterious hole that appeared out of nowhere. Worried about his pet, the young lad wasted no time in gathering a group of friends to aid in the rescue mission. Little did they know that this unexpected mishap would lead them to a treasure trove of wonders. With torches in hand, they cautiously entered the cave, initially suspecting it to be a hidden passage to a nearby manor. But as their eyes adjusted to the dim light, they gasped in utter amazement. What they stumbled upon were the renowned Lascaux Caves, a sprawling labyrinth of chambers covering a vast area of approximately 75 acres. Inside these mystical caves, the walls were adorned with an ancient gallery of more than 600 mesmerizing paintings. Majestic depictions of incredible creatures, local plants, and intriguing symbols danced across the rocky surfaces. It was like entering a portal to an ancient world, with some of the artwork dating back to over 17,000 years. Rumors spread like wildfire about this extraordinary discovery, and in 1948, the caves were open to the public. Everyone wanted to catch a glimpse of these awe-inspiring paintings, but this sudden influx of visitors posed unforeseen challenges. 
The sheer number of feet trampling through the caves led to a rise in carbon dioxide levels, increased heat and humidity, and the introduction of harmful pollutants. These factors cast a dark shadow of deterioration over the delicate artwork. As a result, the decision was made to close the caves in 1963, and they remain off-limits to the general public to this day. Only authorized researchers are granted access to this sacred place. Meanwhile, to preserve the beauty of the paintings without causing further harm, several replicas of the caves have been created for visitors to explore. Likewise, a virtual reality version of the caves has been developed to give people the opportunity to admire the artwork, while ensuring the original caves remain protected. Number 13. Ize Grand Shrine, Japan In the enchanting land of Japan, where ancient traditions and spirituality intersect, there exists a shrine like no other called the Grand Shrine of Ise. Literally, Japan is home to a vast array of Shinto shrines, around 80,000 or more. These sacred places embrace all those seeking solace in their spiritual journey. But the Grand Shrine of Ise sets itself apart, for it opens its gates only to a few selected entities. It was built to pay homage to Amaterasu, the revered goddess of the sun and the universe. What makes this shrine truly extraordinary is the way it was constructed. Every inch of its magnificent structure was crafted using traditional Japanese woodworking techniques to the extent not a single nail holds it together. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of ancient times, a marvel that has withstood the test of over 2,000 years. However, this is no ordinary shrine. In adherence to Shinto beliefs rooted in the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, the entire shrine complex is completely rebuilt every two decades. The last reconstruction took place in 2013, infusing the sacred space with renewed energy and spirit. Today, the place remains off-limits to the public, and only the priests entrusted with the care of the shrine and the esteemed members of the imperial royal family are the privileged ones allowed to enter this sacred place. The closest any random person can get to see the shrine is from the outside through the wooden fences that enclose it. Number 12. North Sentinel Island, India In the Bay of Bengal, there exists a mysterious and enchanting island called North Sentinel Island. It's a small island, heavily forested and completely encircled with a magnificent coral reef. The very sight of it made it seem nearly impossible to reach by boat, as if it were teasing and daring any explorer to come near. However, this is not the main reason why people are not allowed to visit the island. The island is inhabited with indigenous group of people known as the Sentinelese. They are like no other community on Earth. These people have intentionally secluded themselves from the outside world, stubbornly refusing any form of contact or interaction with modern civilization. Today, they are one of the communities in the world to remain untouched by modern civilization. The Sentinelese are fiercely protective of their isolation. They will go to great lengths to keep outsiders at bay. They are not to be taken lightly. If anyone dares to set foot on their sacred land, they will allegedly be met with a barrage of arrows and stones launched by the skilled hands of these fearsome island inhabitants. Meanwhile, an extraordinary incident happened back in 2004 when a devastating tsunami struck the coastal areas surrounding North Sentinel Island. Helicopters, sent for assessing the damage, innocently flew over the island. But instead of being greeted with curiosity or gratitude, they were met with hostility. The Sentinelese immediately sprang into action, allegedly shooting their arrows and throwing stones at the aircraft, determined to protect their cherished island from unwanted intruders. Miraculously, no one on the helicopters got hurt, but it was a stern reminder of the Sentinelese's unwavering resolve. However, there is a darker chapter in the history of encounters with the Sentinelese. In 2006, two unfortunate fishermen unknowingly sailed too close to the island. The Sentinelese did not hesitate to act. They allegedly attacked the fishermen, and sadly their lives were taken. Number 11. Fort Meade, USA Located in the beautiful state of Maryland, USA, Fort Meade holds an intriguing history and is considered one of the most secretive places in the world. Back in 1917, 
this enigmatic location began its journey as Camp Admiral. It started off as a military training ground where soldiers honed their skills and learned the art of warfare. But it wasn't just limited to that. Camp Admiral also served as a signal training school and a tank school where new armored vehicle designs were put to the test. It was a hub of innovation and preparation for the United States during that time. As the years passed, Fort Meade took on even more fascinating roles. During World War II, it became a prisoner of war camp, housing captured enemies. But that's not all. It also became a strategic location for radar equipment and various other technologies used in air defense during the chilling era of the Cold War. Its significance grew and its secrets multiplied. Till date, Fort Meade serves as the home to several Army divisions, including the Army Intelligence and Security Command. It also houses the headquarters of the National Security Agency, responsible for collecting and analyzing intelligence from around the world. Alongside that, it is the base for the United States Cyber Command, safeguarding the nation's cyber interests and the Navy's Cryptologic Warfare Group 6, specialized in code-breaking and electronic intelligence. Fort Meade's level of security is so unmatched that it acts as a backup storage facility for the priceless treasures of the Library of Congress. Can you imagine the value and importance of the items housed within its protected confines? It is a testament to the level of trust placed in its impenetrable walls. No wonder the average citizens don't have a chance of getting close to this place. Number 10. Heard Island, Australia. Located in the heart of Australia, Heard Island is one of the most remote places you could ever imagine. It's nestled about 2,547 miles southwest of Perth and approximately 2,600 miles southeast of South Africa, right in the heart of the vast Indian Ocean. There are two active volcanoes on Heard Island, and it is completely barren. The entire island is composed of debris and limestone that took place as a result of volcanic eruptions. To preserve the fragile natural surroundings, the Australian government restricted entry to the Forbidden Island. In fact, there are parts of Heard Island that have never been explored by humans before. It's like a hidden paradise waiting to be discovered. And since reaching this place requires a deliberate effort, it's highly unlikely that anyone would stumble upon Heard Island by accident. Ever since the ban, the place has remained unexplored and looks completely abandoned compared to other regions on Earth. Number 9. Snake Island, Brazil Located off the coast of Brazil, approximately 93 miles from downtown Sao Paulo, the Snake Island has remained undeveloped for a very good reason. According to researchers, there are about 1 to 5 snakes per square meter on the island. That's quite outrageous. The snakes that exist on this island belong to distinct species of pit viper known as the Golden Lancehead. Surprisingly, 90% of snake bite deaths in Brazil are caused by snakes in the Lancehead genus. The potent, fast-acting venom of golden lanceheads can cause the flesh around their bites to melt. Lanceheads can reach lengths of well over half a meter. Snake Island is a resting place for migrating seabirds, enough to sustain an unusually dense population of snakes. The necessity for the golden lancehead to swiftly immobilize and devour seabirds that land on the island's trees before they can take off led to the evolution of the snake's strong venom. Because golden lanceheads are so deadly, the Brazilian Navy had to make it explicitly illegal for anybody to set foot on the island, with the exception of a few scientific groups. The people living in the coastal settlements surrounding this region love to tell two graphic stories of deaths on Snake Island. In one, an inadvertent fisherman happened to walk onto the island in search of bananas. He was bitten, of course, and made it back to his boat, where the snake's venom quickly claimed his life. He was eventually found in a large blood pool on the boat deck at a later period. The other story is about a lighthouse keeper and his family. A few snakes broke through a window one evening and attacked the father, his wife, and their three kids. They dashed for their boat in a last-ditch attempt to get away, but as they got closer, they were bitten by snakes on branches overhead. These stories highlight how dangerous this island could be, hence the reason why they're considered forbidden to visit. Number 8. Surtsey Island, Iceland On the 14th of November 1963, a colossal eruption began beneath the ocean's surface near Iceland's southern coast. 
It continued furiously for almost four years, shooting lava, gas, and ash into the sea. Eventually, this eruption created a chain of brand new islands, with the grandest among them named Surtsey. What makes Surtsey so intriguing is that it defies the odds. While other freshly formed islands quickly succumb to the forces of the ocean, Surtsey stands tall. It became a protected site, solely accessible to authorized researchers. Their mission? To study the fascinating process of island formation up close. Life on Surtsey started humbly. Simple organisms like bacteria, fungi, and molds were the pioneers, taking root on the barren landscape. Their arrival was crucial, setting the stage for a thriving ecosystem that would eventually support more complex life forms. Over time, Surtsey became a sanctuary for a wide range of species. The island is now home to approximately 89 bird species and around 335 invertebrates. And there's more to come. As the years go by, scientists expect new species to discover and adapt to the unique habitat that Surtsey offers. To preserve the pristine nature of the island, researchers have built a solitary hut where they conduct their observations and experiments. It serves as their scientific headquarters while ensuring the rest of Surtsey remains untouched. Number 7. Cayo Santiago Island Cayo Santiago is an island located off the coast of Puerto Rico, which has an intriguing history that started in 1938. It all began when an American primatologist named Clarence Ray Carpenter released 400 rhesus macaques on the island. Carpenter's intention wasn't to populate the island with cute monkeys. Instead, he wanted a controlled environment to conduct behavior experiments. He realized it was more convenient to breed and study monkeys close to home rather than traveling all the way to Africa for research. For the past 80 years, Cayo Santiago has been a site for various experiments. Scientists have observed the monkeys and conducted research on topics ranging from harmless observational studies to more complex investigations into diseases. At its peak, the island was home to nearly a thousand monkeys, who seemed to observe the humans just as much as the humans observed them. But be warned, it's not wise to get too close to these monkeys. They carry a potentially deadly strain of the herpes B virus. In fact, the first thing visitors are told is to avoid letting the monkeys pee on them. Although technically open to the public, access to Cayo Santiago is mainly reserved for official researchers. Tourists can only admire the island from a distance, recognizing the significant role it plays in scientific exploration. Number 6. Svalbard Global Seed Vault, Norway Imagine a vault designed to safeguard the future of our planet's plant species. This is precisely what the Svalbard Global Seed Vault aims to achieve. It was launched in 2008, serving as a backup for the other seed banks in the world. The concept is awe-inspiring. Each seed sample is preserved for thousands of years, defying the impact of climate change and politics. To ensure optimal preservation, every seed is meticulously packaged in a three-ply foil and stored at a frigid temperature of negative 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The vault itself is located in a remote area of the island of Spitsbergen, insulated from extreme weather conditions. Reaching it is no easy task as only authorized personnel can access this highly secure location. The vault has the capacity to store over 4 million samples, and currently only a quarter of its storage space has been utilized. The long-term goal is to secure seeds from every plant species on Earth, acting as a vital resource if any of these species face extinction in the wild. Withdrawals from the vault are exceedingly rare, with only two instances recorded so far. Due to the importance of preservation and the extended storage periods, entry into the vault is strictly prohibited. Very few individuals have been granted access. The process involves passing rigorous security checks and donning specialized protective gear to prevent any contamination. Now, it's time for our subscribers' pick on the top 15 places you're not allowed to visit. It's none other than Nihau Island in the United States. The story behind this place is quite mysterious. Located southwest of Kauai in the Hawaiian Islands, this mysterious island remains off-limits to most people. It is a beautiful wetland region, but you won't find any resorts there. The only way to catch a glimpse of the island is through a half-day helicopter tour from a distance. The island's exclusivity stems from a unique political agreement 
that allows only authorized individuals to visit, and the owners are notoriously selective about who they welcome. Elizabeth Sinclair purchased the island for $10,000 from the Kingdom of Hawaii in 1864, and her descendants, the Robinsons, still have control. Only the family, their relatives, U.S. military personnel, government officials, and occasional invited guests have access. This exclusivity has fostered a tightly knit community that is detached from the outside world. Despite this isolation, the island has maintained a long-standing relationship with the U.S. military. There's even a small installation on the island, as you can see in this photo, occasionally used for specialist training operations. The island sustains an economy primarily through farming, with over 200 residents who enjoy a rent-free life and access to free meat. Solar power supplies all the electricity, and transportation relies solely on horses. So, what are your thoughts about this island, guys? Do you think it might be reopened in the future to the public? Do let us know in the comment section below as we continue with this video. Number 5. Paveglia Island, Italy In the heart of Venice in Italy, there exists a mysterious island called Paveglia. While Venice was known as the most romantic city in the world, this particular island had a dark reputation that kept people away. Paveglia had a long and eerie history. It was first inhabited way back in the year 421, but things took a turn in 1776 when it was turned into a quarantine facility. Every ship that sailed into the area had to stop at Poveglia to be checked. You see, there was a serious health risk in those times, mainly the dreaded bubonic plague. Infected crew members were sent to the island to either recover or meet their demise without spreading the disease to others. Unfortunately, the horrors didn't end there. Pavalia later became a psychiatric hospital, notorious for its gruesome experiments and torturous treatments. Today, the island's crumbling buildings serve as a chilling reminder of its cruel past. Some say the ghosts of those who were mistreated still wander the island's beaches, while workers who sail too close often return with paranormal stories to tell. The island's eerie allure hasn't gone unnoticed, and there are plans to completely redevelop it. But for now, Pavalia remains off-limits to the public. Footage occasionally emerges of the dilapidated structures on the island, serving as a haunting glimpse into its eerie atmosphere. However, accessing the island is still classified as a health risk, so anyone daring to venture near its shores may very well regret their decision. Number 4. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China The intriguing story about the tomb of Qin Shi Huang in China falls back to the year 1974, in a small town called Xiang, when a farmer was digging a well. Little did he know that this mundane task would lead to one of the greatest archaeological discoveries in Chinese history. As the farmer dug deeper, a hole suddenly opened up before him, revealing a vast underground cavern. And what lay inside was truly awe-inspiring. Thousands upon thousands of statues, known today as the Terracotta Army. These remarkable figures were crafted over a span of 38 years, from 246 to 208 BC, as a grand tribute to the first Qin Emperor's mausoleum. The Terracotta Army is incredibly detailed and unique. Each statue is modeled after an actual person, so no two are alike. It is estimated that there could be as many as 8,000 of these life-sized warriors. But that's not all. Alongside the human figures, there are also a hundred chariots, 400 horses and over 10,000 weapons, making it the largest project of its kind ever constructed. Originally, these statues were adorned with vibrant colors, but over time the colors have faded, leaving behind the earthy tones we see today. But the Terracotta Army is just the tip of the iceberg. This vast underground complex extends far beyond. Resembling an entire hidden city, it even boasts an imperial palace, nearly a quarter of the size of Beijing's famous Forbidden City. While some of the statues have been relocated and showcased around the world, only a few people have ever been granted access to the inner city itself. Why, you may ask? Well, the authorities are wary of causing any irreparable damage to the precious treasures and secrets that lie within. As a result, only a fraction of the vast discovery has been fully explored, leaving much of its mysteries waiting to be unveiled. 
Number 3. Maya Beach, Thailand When you think of Thailand's stunning beaches, Maya Bay Beach on Koh Phi Phi Le Island definitely takes the cake. Its beauty is so remarkable that it was chosen as a filming location for the famous 1990s movie The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. As you can imagine, this catapulted Maya Bay Beach into the spotlight, attracting droves of tourists from all over the world. In 2015, the number of visitors reached a staggering 1.2 million each year, with almost 80% coming from foreign lands. People flocked to this idyllic paradise to unwind on the pristine white sand and marvel at the magical sight of bioluminescent plankton that illuminated the beach at night. However, this newfound popularity came at a cost. The extensive foot traffic and the impact of the movie's production left a lasting mark on the beach's delicate ecosystem. The beach and its surroundings suffered significant damage. Recognizing the ecological importance of this natural gem, the Thai government made the difficult decision to indefinitely close Maya Bay Beach to all visitors in 2019. Meanwhile, in 2022, the ban was uplifted to some extent, but swimming there remains restricted till today. Number 2. Pravchika Brana, Czech Republic this natural wonder is a breathtaking sandstone arch nestled in the enchanting region of Bohemian Switzerland. It's a massive arch standing tall at 52 feet, stretching wide with a span of 87. It was once a must-visit spot in the area, attracting tourists from far and wide who wanted to experience walking over this legendary arch. But as the number of visitors increased, so did a growing concern. Scientists and experts realized that with more people trampling over the arch, its once sturdy structure started to show signs of deterioration. Imagine the fear that one day this magnificent landmark could collapse. The consequences would not only mean losing one of the country's most important treasures, but also risking a potential humanitarian tragedy. In 1982, a crucial decision was made to protect the arch and ensure its longevity. A prohibition was put in place, forbidding anyone from walking across it. Instead, Visitors are encouraged to admire its splendor from a safe distance. Since these new rules were implemented, there has been a noticeable decrease in the rate of erosion. The ban successfully slowed down the arch's wear and tear. However, even without the footfall of tourists, the natural forces continue to wear away at Pravchikabrana. It is a matter of time before it eventually collapses. But thanks to the ban, that time is now a lot further away. Number 1. Uluru Australia. Uluru is an iconic natural wonder in Australia. This majestic sandstone formation is located about 208 miles southwest of Alice Springs, deep in the outback of Australia's Northern Territory. It was previously called Ayers Rock back in the 1930s when it gained popularity as a tourist spot. Uluru holds deep spiritual significance to the indigenous people of Australia way before outsiders arrived on the scene. It's been a place of great cultural importance for generations. But with the increasing number of tourists climbing up the rock, a major problem arose. The delicate structure of Uluru started suffering severe damage from all the foot traffic. And on top of that, there were lamentable incidents of visitors disrespecting this sacred site by drinking and even stripping on top of the rock. To ensure the preservation and respect for Uluru's significance, a unanimous decision was made in 2017. That decision was a ban on climbing Uluru. The new law officially came into effect in October 2019. Now, you can still appreciate Uluru's grandeur from a nearby visitor center, but you're not allowed to set foot on the rock itself. In fact, taking photos from certain angles is also prohibited out of respect for the traditional beliefs surrounding Uluru. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.